and welcome to the very first video for Imperfect by Design. My name is Nicole Triffett and this year I have made it my goal to become a more creative individual and to start learning how to draw and to create graphics. So as part of this goal I've decided to read 26 books on creativity to help me get kickstarted I guess and I'm going to be doing a book review for all of them. So here is the first, I hope you enjoy it. So the book we're going to be reviewing today is Living Out Loud by Kerry Smith. She has a lot of creativity books out there. I have a lot of them, so you'll see more of her. Um, a lot of her books involve doing some kind of activity and thing. And this, while well, she describes it as a to-do book, because she gives a lot of ideas of things to do, um, it, it has some activities and things that you can do anyway. Um, but it's not a how-to. It doesn't explain how to do any of the activities. It just gives you the ideas. In the book, she talks about this, what she calls the land of mistakes. And she encourages you to make a lot of mistakes and to do that on purpose because it allows you to explore different ways of creating, new ways of mixing things, new ways of using different material. Um, she calls it playful experimenting and it, it actually sounds like a lot of fun. This is just one of the examples of her to-do lists. Um, it has a lot of different ideas. Play is one of the sections she talks about. It leads to creativity. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of ideas there and of course as you read this you'll have your own ideas, not just of how to do these but of other things to try. Um, which leads to a lot of creativity, which is great in my opinion. The book also has a lot of resources like this infographic on the left here. Um, these things give you a lot of ideas, a lot of inspiration. Some of them have information. Um, if you're not like me and you're actually happy to tear things out of books, you could tear these kind of things out of books and you could display them around your house or in your creative area so you can get your own ideas and inspiration every time you walk past them. They're really pretty to look at which helps. I love the colours that she's chosen. And a lot of these activities just look like a lot of fun. It's been a very long time since I made a book and so I'm definitely going to be doing this one. This book also has some things you're supposed to tear out. If you can see here, they have this nice tearing lines. Um, the two that I really like is this one with the dies. Um, you can use these to transform and expand your possibilities. I think these would come in handy, especially on a day if you're feeling a bit stuck or a bit blocked. The other one is a board game. It looks like this. Um, it has some... Um, other parts to it, like a spin wheel, your your character person, and the rules are here on the back. Um, each square you land on has you do something different. It looks like a lot of fun and I'm definitely going to be playing this and making a blog post out of it. Okay, and finally, at the back of the book, you find these gorgeous postcards. Um, I'm really glad that these are here because another one of my goals for this year is to send out more snail mail. So they have lots of creative ideas and you can see on the back their postcards. They have the nice tearing so to make them easy to get out of the book if I can bring myself to do it. And they're really just gorgeous. I love the colours. I love the quotes and things. So these are just an added bonus. Overall, the book has inspired heaps of ideas, um, really giving me the passion to be more creative. Uh, I plan to do a lot with the stuff, some of the things that I didn't show you today. There's like lots more in the book, so check out future blog posts for those. Um, if you all have read this book or if you're also trying to become more creative, let me know in the comments below. Please like and share if you found this useful. Bye for now.